Now with these frigid temperatures, furnaces and heating systems are having a tough time keeping up. And so are HVAC repair companies. They're busy handling a lot of calls. And we talked to one crew getting tips on how you can avoid expensive repairs. NBC5's Patrick Fazio has more. This is our uh, Super Bowl for us in HVAC, right? This is when we are at our busiest. HVAC specialist Pedro Sanchez says he's working 16 to 18 hour days during these sub-zero temperatures to fix broken furnaces. They need to get that up and running before we get any busted pipes or plumbing scenarios and now a simple repair becomes thousands of dollars. We decided to put a little space heater given near the both in our bedroom, you know, to keep the baby a little warm. Alberto Moreno of Berwyn called for help when his furnace wasn't keeping his family's house warm. It was working fine until, you know, the sub-zero temperatures started occurring. Um, that's when I started to notice that the thermostat later in the evening wasn't uh, cooperating. It turned out to be a broken flame sensor, but Sanchez says it's not always a repair that's needed. Make sure all the vents are open. Sometimes people will close vents because they want to force air to go another area, and now my furnace is overheating because it can't breathe. He also recommends changing your air filter every 30 days, especially when the furnace is working harder during the coldest months. So check your air filter to make sure it's nice and clean. When an air filter is dirty, it's going to cause our furnace to basically run at a very high temperature and overheat. A smart thermostat can also alert you to problems if you're out of town and it's hardwired so you don't need to change batteries. You should also keep your thermostat at the same temperature when it's this cold, according to Sanchez. It's easier to go up one degree and then when it gets colder outside, not only are you trying to go up one degree, you're fighting the temperature that's dropping outside. So it puts much more strain on the system. Simple maintenance tips to try to maintain the heat in your home. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News.